Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight's at 7.35 p.m. We have a major winter storm that's getting underway in the western half of the United States, while in the eastern half of the United States, we're coming off a relatively calm three-day holiday weekend. So we'll talk all about that and what to look forward to in the week ahead and beyond tonight at 735. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, in Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. And they are getting ready for spring, and that means sand and so and topsoil and mulch. And in case we ever do see anything in the next month, uh, they still have plenty of salt. 631-756-1125 is the phone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. We've got a very wide range of winter weather warnings and watches and advisories up, and it covers a large portion of the western United States. Uh, we've got warnings in Montana, Wyoming, Blizzard warnings in southern Wyoming, warnings in Utah, parts of Nevada, also in Washington, Oregon, in California. But what stands out here is that the winter storm warnings are actually along the coastal range, which you don't see too often. Winter storm watches up for the uh, areas of northeast Nebraska, South Dakota, southern Minnesota into Wisconsin, and winter storm and winter weather advisories surrounding all that. Also, we have winter storm watches up in Colorado and in other areas in Nevada and up into southern Idaho. Uh, the uh, amount of snow that we're going to see out of this is pretty impressive. Uh, taking a look at the snowfall forecast map here for the next uh, three days or so, this takes us into Thursday morning. We're talking about uh, feet certainly in the Rockies, uh, up to three feet in some places. But then when you move eastward across uh, South Dakota and into Minnesota and over into Wisconsin, particularly in central and northern Wisconsin, we're looking at amounts that are going to be on the order of a foot to a foot and a half. And then as we move on to the eastern part of the United States, the focus will be north of I-90 in upstate New York and for Vermont and New Hampshire and eventually uh, for Maine after we pass through Thursday morning where uh, the Adirondacks could do pretty well with this as well as the mountains in Vermont and New Hampshire. And as far as our weather is concerned locally in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, uh, there might be enough low-level cold air that bleeds southward on Wednesday to set up for some freezing rain uh, in areas in southern New York, in the Catskills, northeastern Pennsylvania, over into Connecticut and Massachusetts. We're looking at most ice accretion amounts of around a tenth of an inch, but there are a few pockets, particularly in the Catskills and also north of Binghamton, where we're looking at the potential for a quarter to a third of an inch of ice accretion. But as far as uh, any kind of widespread winter storm for these areas and points south, uh, clearly, uh, it's not going to happen. So uh, looking at satellite loop, uh, we've got clouds that are advancing uh, eastward today. Uh, it's a relatively benign setup with a couple of weak weather fronts that are moving through one today, another one tomorrow that will have a little bit more with it. And then you see the clouds that are gathering up in the northwestern part of the U.S. Uh, early afternoon radars showing some precipitation aloft. Uh, with this weak weather system moving through, there's some showers down in southern Virginia and into uh, eastern Tennessee. Uh, then we move on to the Great Lakes, where we're seeing some snows up in northern Wisconsin and back up to Minnesota. And we're beginning to see snows breaking out from Washington State eastward across, over into Idaho, uh, Montana, and Wyoming. And that's only going to be increasing with time. Uh, when we look at the surface map, what's happening is we've got a lot of Arctic. We actually have Arctic air in southern Canada. That is pressing southward, and it's going to create this large fetch of easterly winds from the Great Lakes all the way to the west coast. And those easterlies are going to create lift, and uh, we're going to see uh, th this widespread area of snow that's being indicated as far as uh, snowfall from WPC, this is the probability of at least two. And you see how much of the west that it covers. Uh, and also across the plains, uh, the Great Lakes, the northern Great Lakes, north of Chicago and Detroit and uh, Milwaukee, by the way. 
and then up into uh, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, north of I-90 and going into Maine. This takes us again into Thursday morning. And when we look at the long range uh, for Thursday into Friday, uh, you can see that there is high probability of at least a few additional inches uh, in areas in uh, northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and particularly in Maine, where we've got one area at 70 to 90 percent, at 90 percent or higher, I should say, and also back from Wisconsin into the upper peninsula of Michigan, where it's 50 percent or higher. So I'm going to widen this out, and you can see on the surface map here, uh, what will uh, be a lot of easterly isobars. And there you have it. This is going into Tuesday night, Wednesday. This is gradually going to be building up. We've got this weak weather front today. We've got one coming through tomorrow. There could be some showers uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe some snow uh, further north into upstate New York. Uh, this is, again, for the talking about the northeast. In the meantime, you see the snows spreading out across the Dakotas and southern Minnesota and back through uh, Wyoming. Uh, down into Utah and Colorado. Uh, that continues and even increases more. Now, Wednesday, this is Wednesday evening, and this is the point where we have a very long warm front. I mean, that's basically what it is right through here uh, from uh, the low center in southern Kansas uh, eastward into southern Virginia, and there's going to be precipitation breaking out ahead of it. Colder air is going to try and bleed southward at the low levels uh, from eastern Canada, which is why we're thinking that north and west of Philadelphia, north and west of New York City, uh, there could be some freezing rain. And then you see the snow there on the northern end. Uh, that's going to play into early Thursday. After that, there's just going to be a weird day. If you're in southern New England, if you're in Long Island, northern New Jersey, those areas north and east are going to really struggle with temperatures. If you're in southern New Jersey, southern Pennsylvania, and points south, you may actually break out into some sunshine and see temperatures uh, climb up to the uh, upper 60s to mid-70s, believe it or not. Then it turns colder, and it will turn drier for Friday and for Saturday, and then we might be setting up for perhaps some more precipitation at some point late in the weekend or early next week. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website, omnitruevalue.com. And we'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 735 Eastern.